Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to make video on how to define electrode in Silvaco TKID. So please watch this video carefully. And if you are facing any issue in electrode or defining the electrode uh, from this video, you will clarify all your doubts. So let's start with the video. Electrode. So in Silvaco, maximum number of defined electrode is given as a hundred. But still, if you uh, almost near to hundred, even in some cases, maybe it will show errors for you. And uh, like the way you have to define the electrode is electrode name and uh, the name of the electrode, like source, strain, gate, uh, like in solar cell anode, cathode, and in some like HBT or uh, like bipolar BGT, it's like collector, base, emitter. So that is, and for position, it's like coordinates, X mean, Y mean, uh, Y max, and uh, like X max. So you have to define that things here in, in terms of microns, because all of the dimension, even in your region statement, you have defined that using microns, right? So all the statement is defined in the term, terms of microns. So if you have to define in a uh, nanometer, you have to define uh, using micron only, okay? So now comes down to, uh, another slide so one more interesting thing is there like if uh, you want to go with a, a small syntax so if no y coordinates are mentioned just you write that uh, like nothing to write in a y axis it will assume it at the top so that means if you just only mention the x min and x max and not mentioning the y min and y max so only from that the uh, electrode will uh, assume to be that electrode at the top uh, okay, and um, from that right, left, top, bottom is also there for having a small syntax for us, like small syntax in the sense, like uh, if you have at the top most area in the bottom left most area in the right most area in the bottom most area. So you can define like uh, electrode name source left length 0 0.5. That means at the left most point the source have a length of 0 0.5. Similarly, if that is uh, in the rightmost point, you can say uh, electrode name uh, drain right length 0 0.5. That means it, at the rightmost point, it's have a, a length of 0 0.5. Similarly for gate for the top and you can change the parameter length parameter there, okay. And for bottom also there is like, you can define it as a substrate also or bottom also that is only like name substrate or you just uh, like there's an option name substrate you can define that way also so and uh, then there is a for like this is for a circular one right you know that there is a like what we define in x min x max similarly happen in the cylindrical coordinates so there you have to just mention the r min and r max a min and a max z min and z max so here you can understand that there is a radius of r dot max of 0 0.0028 that means uh, that maximum radius and the cylindrical coordinate it is so it's length so it's something for a nanowire thing so for nanowire you have to define like that and similarly in the bottom side you can see the gate at the top region like gate at the top z min z max is given there and r min is given there so this is the way to define in nanowire there is a material aluminium is for like aluminium is a material type okay so for like molybdenum if you have to define molybdenum you can define but you have to take care about that whether this material is available or not like some met, uh, some metals are available some metals are not so you have to take care about that and also one more thing like for a contact statement similar things happen like just you have to mention the contact and their name whatever you have mentioned in electrode so if you mention electrode as a drain so you have to give the contact name drain there and like there is a, some associate work function or floating gate or something a floating thing is there so you have to mention there in the contact also like the way you have defined in the electrode okay so in the like in the contact statement uh, i will show you contact name gate like and then you define the work function there work function there 
and their value it's in electron volt so you can define anyway and if you want to do floating you can define floating and if there is a like if you want to sort two gates like gate one gate two is there so you have to sort that so you can use common there common uh, with some gate like if it is like gate zero so it's it's or it's getting a uh, sort with gate zero so that all like gate zero or gate all you have to define an electrode and that you can use in a contact now let's talk about the electrode options so uh, electrode name equal to electrode as i already told you gate and drain and source and anode cathode you can define here uh, but uh, like you can't define on your own user defined name like i want to name it as a abc electrode so it is not possible right so you, like something is possible here so that i will tell you what what options uh, for name you can use then there's a position already i have told you right for uh, uh, like simple or you can say uh, shortcut short, shortcut ones uh, like defining the length uh, and the left and right something you can define or also in the form of coordinates x min y min y max and z min z max something you can define and similarly for cylindrical one r min r max uh, a min a max z min z max and like same and the second last and the la uh, last thing is option is how to define options so option you just have to add there like the way you have added the electro name and same thing like option you don't need to write option there just write the uh, that particular option no need to add include any position or an option anything there just you have to write floating it will be become floating it will become uh, like true like initially it's a false but after adding the floating it will become true and similarly if you want to add the material just have to write material equal to the name okay and if you want to add the thermal just you have to write thermal there it will uh, include that option so for only material you have to add material equal to something else for floating and thermal you don't have to add so floating gate you have seen in a EW prone device and um, so there there is a floating gate for that you have to use this option for electrode and also you have to use that in a bottom where you have to define the contact and thermal is uh, considering electrode heat flow simulation so for whenever you are using some uh, giga modules etc there you can use this substrate or bottom is the bottom of the device so you can just add the bottom of the device just adding the substrate or bottom there okay as i already told you right you can't define everything in a name so only this much options you can define drain source bulk substrate emitter collector base anode cathode well n well p well channel ground and source p source and drain p drain vdd vss ve and vvv vscc so these all are you can define in the name so you can't define on your own username like you if you want to do, define emi collect so something you can't define or any name you can't define just you have to only include this much only options so this is all about the uh, like syntax part and the uh, options part and now i will show you some uh, like this is the simulation part and as i uh, like already explain the messing prison and the region statement so it's uh, some random codes and also you can easily understand the how i have defined the region and how i have defined the messing as i already explained in the previous videos so here you can see that some metal name i have used some random names like sbmd cdhu kkj something like that uh, but here our concern is only over the electrode so i will take the electrode carefully so see there like you can see that electrode name cathode and electrode name uh, cathode there's two electrodes and there's a one anode so let's run the code after running the code we will get the structure file so see here like as i define the cathode here and a cathode here so it is there and uh, like in the bottom most point there is a molybdenum like it's zero have it's have a thickness zero because i have not defined their thickness and also you can see that uh, like you will also think that why i have defined the uh, like cathode like this uh, like some two points it is a some solar cell structure uh, so like what happen is uh, like when there is a like longer metal electrode is there so their surface recombination velocity is higher and that leads to decrease the our efficiency 
or so for avoiding that uh, like these types of electrodes are used in solar cells so that's the reason uh, like uh, defining like this uh, the electrode but mostly in like uh, mosfet and uh, like tfet etc there is all like all around types uh, electrode so not like this but for example i just shown you and uh, and if you define by using these some coordinates you can define these things also like take some coordinates and then we will see that how it is with the coordinates here i have defined some like thickness also in the y max statement let's see that this is the old one and you can see that there is nothing here and in the like new one you will see that also let's make the space for new one yeah, it's there, right? See, like, sorry. Uh, you can see that, right? If you have to see more clear pictures, so you can go to display and just, uh, no, no, not click here, just on the reason. And uh, like, you have to just show the reason and apply. You will get to know which is cathode and which is electrode. So you can see that this is a node. And this is a cathode, like it's yellow one is a cathode. Region one is this one, green is this one. So it's uh, some good way. And there's a line points also there in the way, way line points also there. I've already made a video on this. Okay, so you can see that those videos. Okay. And uh, yeah, so if you face any issue, you can write to me in the comment box or in my email, whatever I have given there in the descriptions. Thank you.